So this video today, according to my notes, because I'm not used to doing videos, I'm so scared, um, is uh, I wanted to talk about empirical evidence. For those who don't know, it's a term used by those uh, interested at all in science and proof of something, um, and which is especially important for those who are taking drugs, right? Uh, we want to know that that could be effective for us and it's not based on fairies at the bottom of the garden. So, um, yes, so we will also want to know, um, well, let me actually just tell you, hang on, empirical evidence is, and I just come out my phone here, it is defined as, well, this is one of the definitions, is information acquired by observation or experimentation. Scientists record or analyze this data and this process is a central part of the scientific method. So if somebody says, you know, um, I can see fairies at the bottom of the garden, we'll be like, oh, okay, well, can you show me proof of that? And it's just the same when it comes to treatments for illness, such as epilepsy and mental health, is it not? I think so, anyway. So I think it's really important when somebody says, by the way, mate, this is going to cure you. I was like, or this, or this is going to help you reduce your seizures. I was like, okay, that sounds great. How does that work? And what data do you have to back that up with? Unless, of course, you completely 100% trust your neurologist or your doctor or whatever, um, and you've checked them out, and so you have reason to trust them, then that's, that's fine too. But the reason I brought this up, empirical evidence, is because I see so much rubbish online. Um, about supposed treatments for epilepsy and mental health. This will make you feel better, darling. And this is gonna cure things. And it's like, oh, mate. Like a lot of us do get very desperate at times. If you are very unwell, you really want something to work. And especially if you've been on heaps of drugs that haven't worked and you're like, oh, okay, I'll just try it. And I get it. But it's worth keeping in mind that you want something to be proven to work. I uh, met this guy uh, recently, right? I kid you not. He said that cannabis, weed cannabis, of course, um, cured a woman he knew, knew of cancer completely and it made all her ca her cancers, her tumours reduced in, um, in size and they just disappeared and it was just down to the uh, cannabis. And I'm like, oh, really? Okay, so how has that been studied? Do you know about um, the difference between causation and correlation? By the way, which... Basically, causation is what it sounds like. If you don't not already know this, please just jump over this bit. But causation is when one thing happens that causes another. But correlation is like two things can happen or increase or decrease at the same time, but it doesn't mean they did it for each other. It just can be coincidence that anyway. And of course, you couldn't answer that. And, the, and of course, we want to know why and see that is a cure, mate. But we need to respect ourselves and each other and, and ask, well, why? Sometimes we don't care why, I know, but we must not preach to the rest of the world that, mate, this is gonna work. This is gonna cure you and you can't back it up because you're taking advantage, not, not always, people don't always do it on purpose, but inadvertently misleading people, say this is gonna work and the vast majority of the time it really will not. Um, unless it's backed up by research and stuff like that, you know? And that's the type of stuff that is prescribed by quality, reliable, top-notch docs, neurologists, etc., cetera, um, psychiatrists, because they're basing their information on credible um, empirical evidence and drugs that have been tried out and been in studies and stuff like that. So I know there are gonna be heaps of people that disagree with what I've just said, because that's what happens, especially in the sphere of um, epilepsy and mental health. But I really, really welcome your comments and just let me know what your experiences have been. Also, please let me know what you would like me to do videos on, what you'd like me to talk to you about, um, because I have so many things going on in my limited brain tissue of ideas, but I'm not quite sure what to put forward, put, uh, what to put first, etc. So, yeah, please let me know. Um, so yeah, if you could also subscribe, that would be top notch. That would be fantastic because I'm. It takes a lot for me to be doing this. I'm really nervous, and so I'm. But I'm going to make myself do some more. But I want to do quality videos, stuff that people appreciate. So yeah, please subscribe. If you could like share this video, it'd be fantastic. I'd really appreciate it. And I will do another one very soon. And take care in this palaver of a world today. I hope everyone is looking after themselves. All right, cheers everyone.